that's not good. I had just found out that a charging port spot on this charging module was missing. Even worse, it was beyond replaceable. Normally, this type of charging port has 5 pins and those on both ends are mostly buttered. But somehow, the one on this module had only one soldering spot. So it was impossible to fix any normal charging port here and get it to work. I tried to order a replacement but that was going to take too much time. Then I got a brilliant idea and in this video, I will be showing you just how to fix it. First, we need the charging port replacement, not the regular type but this one. It has, it has the charging port soldered on already and these two output wires extending out from it, which made it easier to work with. I only had to connect these output wires which represented these two pins at the end to this port here and here on this module. Again, this was proven to be a hard nut to crack as the other surgeon port 2 was missing. So I did some testing and discovered that it was originally connected to this white strap here. So I had to figure out a way to connect this wire to the white strap. What I had to do was fix this wire in place like this and solder it onto the board. Generally, whenever you have the problem of missing soda parts on any PCB piece, all you need to do is find the trace soda max layer leading to it, in most cases, will still be there. Then, peel off the soda max layer covering the copper foil underneath it, apply some soda on the copper foil and you can solder whatever it was that was there before, be it a resistor, capacitor or a female USB charging port in this case. Make sure your connections are neat and tidy and the contact copper leads do not touch each other so as to avoid short circuiting or worse, total destruction of the PCB piece. This was actually a replacement for the female USB charging port of this 20,000 mAh power bank which I will be making in my next video. If you want to see how I made this power bank, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss any new video and especially that video when I post it. Okay, let's see if it can charge it now. You can see it worked perfectly. So this is how you can fix this kind of problem on any module and it's fun to do too. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like and comment if you did. And also do subscribe if you want to see how I made this 20,000 mAh power bank in my next video. I'll see you in the next video.